Well, sadly, for those who are exposed to the elements, I'm afraid that the clouds have opened up and it is teeming down here. There are some fans who are going to get very, very wet. Having said which, there are almost no empty seats. It is a terrific turnout under the circumstances. There's nowhere else to go, in truth, if you want to see this much-anticipated game. So, come rain or come shine, we are here and really looking forward to it. Certainly, this is a very, very impressive venue. Quite a sight to behold. Bologna have opted for a 4-5-1 formation, it appears, Jim. Well, this setup, Peter, can be very defensive if that midfield is in place purely to form a protective layer in front of the back four. But it can also be the launch pad to very quick counter-attacks if you can offer pace and accuracy on the front foot. It can have a, a devastating effect, actually, uh, at the offensive end of the pitch, too. So, it's away we go, then. Jim, you've played in games of this nature. Who can make the difference? Yeah, Frank Ribéry. He's got brilliant technical ability. And that allows him to dribble his way out of some very tight spaces, creating something out of nothing. And he doesn't try to do it all himself. He's very good at always being aware of the options that are around him and often picking out the right one. OK, interesting. And helps available out wide. Going through. Nicely controlled. Plenty waiting in the middle. And he's got the ball glued to his feet. Chiesa puts it into the middle. And it's played forward. Chiesa. Plenty of appeals, but the referee is not interested. Forward it goes. Well, both sides have actually looked poor going forward. We've hardly seen... Hits one! Fiorentina going about it patiently, too patiently. Badel. Badel goes looking. Lovely feet. He's making good use of his strength there, just refuses to be out-muscled. Oh, that's neat. If you have just joined us, you'll be glad to know that you haven't missed a goal. That's a good ball to find him. Chiesa! Oh, he's missed it. Chiesa certainly caught it well enough, but that was never really going to trouble the keeper. Mattel. the half-time whistle, so now the team has broken through, but certainly not for the want of trying. It's been an interesting game up to now, but still goals. Interesting half, just missing goals, so don't be surprised if the second half brings a change to the scoreline at the break. Nil nil. Here we go again then. So deadlock still as the second half begins. Patel.
Caceres. Caceres plays it forward. And he's managed to beat absolutely everyone. So now we're going to get those changes we have been expecting. Hoists it forward. Well, into the second half, and it's still goalless. Got a shot away! Fiorentina making consecutive changes here. Jamaili with the short one. Incoming cross. Enrique gets it away. Time to deliver. And it's Jamaili. He's had a go! And the ball's come out. Enrique. Not long left, and still we await the breakthrough. Patel. Just about up to 75 minutes. Patel. Over to the left. Look, this can still go either way. It might be flowing one way, but there's still time for some ebb. Got through to him. That intervention was very necessary. And he's there to hoof it away. Bologna showing a good level of intensity at this stage. They're calling on all their resources now. Gorgeous control there. Fiorentina have to get it into the box and quickly. Mattel. And that's it. Well, it looked nil-nil from a fair way out. Little craft or guile or penetration. Defence is largely untroubled. It's goals. How do you look back on the game then, Jim?